It's a story that will eclipse all others. On August 21st, the Great American Eclipse took place and the Challenger Learning Center was the place to be in Northwest Ohio. The Challenger Learning Center of Lake Erie West, operated by the ESC of Lake Erie West, is one of the leading STEM-based educational providers here in Northwest Ohio. We offer simulated missions to the moon and to Mars to ignite students' potential to engage in STEM-based activities, to learn, to discover, to explore, and engage themselves, and ultimately to grow beyond themselves as well. We offer a number of different educational outreach activities as well, such as going into different classrooms, We've got a planetarium too, and then we also partner with NASA as a NASA Lifetime Educational Partner for a number of their educational programs too. So the event today, uh, this is the, the only official NASA viewing spot in the entire area, and uh, so you've got people really flocking in here. It's already, it's pretty early, we've already got hundreds and hundreds of people here. Everybody's excited, they're ready to see the eclipse, and they've got their eclipse glasses ready to go, and everybody's just uh, showing a lot of excitement. This is the Great American Eclipse. The last time that an eclipse actually happened from coast to coast was in 1918. Um, I've talked to a couple of people who were alive at that time, and there's it's certainly something that's amazing. So this is called the Great American Eclipse, and here in Northwest Ohio, we'll be able to see a maximum eclipse at about 2.27 p.m. Um, we encourage everyone that you need to wear your safety glasses at all times. At no time can you ever look at the sun without safety glasses. Never look directly at the sun. You can also use pinhole projectors as well and be able to have this light reflect through the pinhole and illuminate the eclipse on the ground. This event got even the youngest science enthusiasts excited for the eclipse. There's a circle here with a piece of paper and then there's, going, there's a little pinhole at the top so when the light, so when the sunlight goes through, when I look through this and I see the piece of paper, the, um, the solar eclipse shadow will um, be down at, in the, on the piece of paper. So basically what's happening today is we've got the moon is going to go in front of us here on Earth and the sun. And because of that, it's going to block out uh, here in our area about 82% of the sun's light. You go down towards Nashville and now towards Wyoming and Oregon, uh, they're going to see a complete t t totality. So what that means is that it's going to block out the sun's light completely. Well, I'm real excited. I mean, anytime we're talking about um, you know, space and science, uh, that type of thing, even if it's not meteorology, it's fun to you know, get people involved, talk about it. Being invited out here today was a lot of fun. Uh, just talking about this event, getting people excited about it. And uh, along with that, it's also interesting too, because the weather is important to today's viewing. And uh, you know, no pressure, but we've got some clouds kind of moving in and out. And so trying to nail down that forecast is very important. But just being involved with it is a lot of fun. Like I said, 1918 was the last time it happened coast to coast. There was an eclipse in 79. There will also be another one coming up in 2023 as well. Um, but this doesn't happen every day. The, it depends on how the orbit of the moon, as it's orbiting Earth and as we're constantly going around the sun, it, it doesn't happen all the time. So this is, for some folks, I had one lady call me and she said, I'm 79 years old. I missed the last one and I might not be around for the next one. So for some people, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, and we are happy to partner with NASA and be that official viewing site. It's certainly something awesome to be able to do. I've been waiting for probably since 1965 for this. Um, it's such an opportunity to be with good friends, our grandchildren and ourselves to just, who's gonna see all this stuff? It's wonderful, so thank you. Thank you, universe. <laughs> It's a phenomenon of nature which rarely occurs that you're able to see. I know it happens many times uh, throughout the years, but in our location, you don't get to see it that often. So this is a wonderful chance. And because the Challenger Learning Center of Lake Erie West was an official NASA viewing site, they had all kinds of hands-on activities to get students and parents excited. So we have sun paper, which is why my fingers are a little bit red. You put some food coloring, a shaving cream, and. You make that look like your Corona there and you put it on some cardstock. We've got, make some chalk outlines, you can make your own sundial. We've got a solar oven that we're cooking with. We're making s'mores and marshmallows out there. Uh, we also have some pinhole projectors as well. The students that are coming out today are making foam rockets, uh, learning about some of Newton's laws of force there as well. Uh, 
We've got Metro Parks, Bay Area Federal Credit Union, the YMCA, Toledo Traffic Safety, or uh, Lucas County Traffic Safety, the Toledo Children's Hospital. They're all coming out as well in the library and offering different activities for folks too. And there was one common word that everyone used to describe how they were feeling. I'm excited because we're going to see the eclipse and like what, why it happens and like how it happens and like how it covers the sun and it's going to go dark. So I'm just really excited. I think it's a great opportunity for our, our future generations to see the eclipse first of all and also have the learning stations and maybe get them interested in science and maybe they'll at, uh, at some point in time be part of NASA or another program that will continue the space program in the future. And of course the staff felt the same exact way. I am really excited. I have been going all last week I was out at NASA Glenn Research getting pumped up for this. This weekend I spent my entire weekend here getting ready for this and today I started my day out at 4 35 a.m. getting everything ready. I can't wait for it. This is awesome. Um, this is one of the best perks about my job, being able to teach and to be able to share with the students, look, this is, this is really happening. This is something you can actually see and do. So for me, I might look a little bit tired, but I am super excited for this. This is going to be awesome. I'll come definitely alive at uh, 225, 227 p.m. today. Along with solar eclipse related activities, different organizations were on hand to entertain and give information to parents and students. Well, we're here today um, to, of course, see the eclipse with the special glasses. Um, we were asked to do a table here to talk about distracted driving. And as far as injury prevention, we are very um, passion, compassionate about distracted driving, especially in the teen population. We know that uh, car crashes are the leading cause of death in the teen population. And so we have a distracted driving simulator that kind of takes them through a residential area and encourages them to text and drive and use a cell phone and drive. And it shows how difficult it really is to multitask while you're driving. We show them that to get from point A to point B safely, that really you can only do one thing and that is just to focus on driving itself. That is it. Super excited! I mean, I think I already have the glasses, so um, my manager is here as well. We're going to go out there and we're going to check things out, and so it's really like uh, super fun to do health education and to also see this major event today. And at two o'clock, everyone made their way outside to prepare for the eclipse. Special eclipse glasses were handed out to protect eyes and give everyone the opportunity to view the eclipse. Very simply, if you look at the sun uh, directly, you're going to do damage to your eyes, and it doesn't take a whole lot. And the problem is, is you know, if you touch, say, a burner and it's hot, you get burned, right? That's kind of a signal like, that's hot, don't touch it, I'm going to get hurt. If you look at the sun, you're not necessarily going to feel any pain at all, but you may wake up the next morning and not be able to see out of your eyes. And just like our eyes, our cameras couldn't shoot directly into the sky, but from the shadow of this vehicle, we were able to capture the sunlight diminishing in Northwest Ohio as the moon covered the sun. Those that saw the eclipse through glasses or pinhole projectors definitely had a sight to see. But if you missed this one, you may have another chance to experience the next solar eclipse. The next eclipse that's going to happen for the entire U.S. when you're talking about total solar eclipses will be in uh, will be on April 8th, 2024. And so we look at that. I know for a lot of us, it's like oh, it's six, seven years down the road. But that's going to be a really big deal here because we'll be in totality for the first time since the early 1800s. So if you got a pair of solar eclipse glasses, you might want to keep hold of those. You'll need them again in seven years. For BCAN, I'm Sarah Sanchez.